Welcome back to my channel. My name is Key Darlies, and today I wanted to talk about a case that really doesn't have a lot of information to it, but I thought we could talk about mental health. We can talk about social media and the way it's heading in today's society. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe as we get into the case of Ashley Loveless. Now, Ashley was only 16 years old, but yet she was able to make a platform out of social media just at the age of 16 in just one year. She was a beautiful girl. She was born November 7, 2002, and her rise to stardom was through her beautiful voice. as well as through modeling through social media. Her life seemed perfect. She was beautiful. She had thousands of views. She had almost 500,000 followers on Instagram, only at the age of 16. So from the outside looking in, it appeared as if she had it all together. Confident, beautiful, and vain but underneath things was much greater in danger so ashley was born in pennsylvania on november 7 2002 to her parents she was half korean and half hawaiian and she stayed there till the age of five until they moved to nevada she has a host of brothers and sisters as well. So she had a tight knit family. So early on in her life, she loved taking pictures, she loved singing, and she loved being in the spotlight. And as she grew more fame, internally, she had to deal and face issues that she never thought she had to endure, such as mental health. She started experiencing pain, anxiety, and depression. And a lot of people don't really like to talk about that with social media because they see, you know, you have thousands of views. You have so many people liking your pictures. You have so many people commenting. What more could you ask for? You can't suffer with depression if you have this amount of views or this amount of likes. But in fact, it is so true, especially in today's society because we're constantly trying to live up to an expectation that is ideal, but also unrealistic at times. Especially at the age of 16, where you're still trying to find yourself, the influence of social media can have a negative pack in more ways than one. And the most negative is through the mind, mental health. So with her getting this notoriety on Instagram, she also suffered backlash as well. She had people who made mean and nasty comments on her pictures, on anything that she did with her singing. They would constantly DM her. And in fact, it was allegedly this one particular person who kept attacking her and she simply could not take it as far as mentally. Her depression began to weigh on her even more and more. And I noticed, I took a look through her Instagram, and I noticed that one of the pictures, she has her arm out. And you can sort of notice these kind of cut marks on her arm. I don't know if it's factual, if it's true, but she could have been self-harming herself through this process, trying to cope with this anxiety and depression. So on January 21st, 2019, just earlier this year, unfortunately, she took her own life. So what I want to get through to this particular video is not so about the bully because we will always get negative comments. We'll always get hate. We'll always get things that might get us down. It is how we cope 
with that pain? How do we cope with the negativity? How do we deal with our mental health, our anxiety, and sometimes depression? Do we talk to others? Do we not talk to others, but find other ways to get through down moments in our life? So did you know that depression has risen 63% since 2013? So I want to talk about some symptoms to recognize if someone suffers from depression. And I think it's likely to say that we all suffer with some type of sadness or depression at some point in our lives. So it's good to just recognize these steps and learn how to cope with it. So lack of energy is a stage of depression that you might experience. Insomnia, excessive sleeping, lack of sleeping is another symptom of depression. Significant weight loss or weight gain, constantly feeling worthless and sad. Did you know that the major source of teenage depression is due to social media. Did you know that one out of three teenagers are likely to get bullied every day? 47% of teenagers have experienced a crucial bullying online and they never even reported. The highest online site where they experience bullying is Instagram, then Facebook, then Twitter. And this is an interesting fact. Teenagers, they took a poll and 71% of teenagers think it's a huge problem. They know it's a huge problem on social media, yet they never even report it. One out of five teenagers have experienced cyber stalking, and that's what Ashley was facing day to day. And that's what led her to the ultimate ending of her life. Now, the wonderful thing about this is that more and more teenagers are starting to speak out about this cyber bullying. In 2014, only 40% of teenagers actually spoke out, but it's ri risen to 60% of teenagers speaking out against the cyber bullies and cyber stalkers. And you know what's also crucial? Because I know sometimes we think, oh, it starts at school. But did you know that 60% of the bullying happens mainly on social media with people you've never even met in your life or never encounter? Only 20% of bullying actually occurs at school. So if we really want to talk about bullies, it's something that you never even come face to face in contact with. So we definitely have to protect our mental health. We have to keep on talking about ways to cope with mental health. And I'm gonna link a, a website down below where it's an anonymous hotline where you can talk to someone if you're ever feeling down, depressed, or feeling anxiety. Because we cannot ignore this. We cannot sweep this under the rug. And yes, Ashley, her case, does not have a lot of ingredients to it, but the key focus of her case is mental health. And that's what I'm spending this time to talk about. And that's why I thought it would be wonderful to talk about her story, because I think her legacy needs to be ways to cope with mental health. Let your light shine through talking about these issues because it's okay to admit that you suffer from anxiety. It's okay to admit you have depression. Also, I wanna say, if you have cyber bullies, cyber stalkers, know when to block them. Know when to walk away from social media. I've had incident instances where I've had to take a break from social media because it can be overwhelming. You can feel inadequate at times at looking at social media, at 
seeing hurtful comments, but it's how we deal with it after the fact. So I hope you all enjoyed this case and took some key pieces of information about this case of Ashley because she was beautiful, she was loved, and she will always be remembered. So make sure you like, comment, and definitely subscribe. Until next time.